All right, so I got two snakes that haven't wanted to eat at all. So today I offered them live, and now the good news, I got Steve to eat. He had uh, gone 78 days without eating, quite a bit. He's been working on uh, mating instead, so that's kind of good. But uh, yeah, so I finally got him to eat. And the other one that I've been trying to get to eat has been my new ball python, the Mojave. Haven't gotten her to eat yet, and I offered her live, but she didn't take it. So, I have a live mouse, and I ain't keeping it as a pet. So, we will offer it to Peretta. Peretta's funny because I can take her height off and it takes her a while to wake up. There she goes. So. And I'll tell you, that mouse stinks. So I'm sure she's going to smell it. Peretta never strikes either because she knows her food is uh, frozen thawed. So this will be the first time getting her to strike at her meal. Maybe the woman might not strike at all. <laughs> you can see the woman is interested, definitely. And let's say we got a wind up. There it is. Scared the crap out of me, even. And I want to make sure there's no biting going on. Oops, sorry. Just see him kind of holding its head off. Kind of a tag team match, but that's the reason I don't like to feed live right there. Well, where the mouse had tried to uh, nip the snake, didn't break through the skin, so that's good. And of course, Pareto is going to try to eat it backwards. Or maybe not. Alright, so it took about, uh, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes, but Preda finally found the head. And she's wasting no time.
I mean, it's wasting no time whatsoever. I already got it like halfway down. About 30 seconds. Yeah, so it'll be about two minutes, and uh, Beretta will have this down. Alright, so... By the way, the rest of Peretta's body does not move like... the sense the attack. <laughs> Just pretty much using her neck, and that's about it. Alright, so that's about it. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.